Hey YouTube, RobbieRu81 here with the supposed last game of the Thanksgiving Stuffer. And if you watched my previous video, you would know that would be Dead Rising 2. I should probably stop doing that, but the game is inside my PS3. So there's no harm done. It's just making a loud clapping noise with the case. And being this game is still popular, still popular, it's still new. I know, I'm releasing a, I'm reviewing a very new and current game. I know, shocking. For pre-owned from GameStop, this game is 54 bucks. Really? 54 bucks. Pre-owned. Not used. Pre-owned. So if this ain't pre-owned, this was you. This ain't used. It was pre-owned. But yet again, if someone had this for me about three or four years and return it back, probably just fresh out the silicone, it'd probably still, it'd probably say used, not pre-owned, but the thing is it's still a fresh game, that's why it says pre-owned, it won't make it sound nice and fancy. But anyway, this game, sequel to Dead Rising 1, uh, you're a new guy named Kevin Green, uh, your whole objective is to clear your name for a zombie outbreak which is blamed on you after a Terror is Reality game show. And now, what I do like about Dead Rising 2 is the fact that you can participate in Terror, terror is Reality, which, if it was real life, chances are I probably would do it. Now, after one night of Terror is Reality, uh, on the way out to get his daughter from the green room, the elevator, the someone uh, plants a bomb in front of the barricade where all the zombies are. They leave, the zombies get out, and now you're trying to find your daughter, you rescue your daughter, you get to a fallout, you get to a zombie shelter because the government remembers what happened in Willamette, Colorado. But the problem is, after a news feed, the, new, the reporter found a tape with you as the bomb, somewhere in your show jacket, which is right here on uh, Kevin in the cover here. They see this jacket, they blame it on you, and here we find out it was someone put up to do it by the host of Terror Ears Reality, Tyrone King. Now, the security guard, he's keeping an eye on Katie, but your daughter Katie has been bitten in the Willamette incident. She has a mark right here on her wrist. Now, before he even let, before you even get inside the bomb shelter, the security guard looks suspiciously like Kenny Rogers. Just saying. Every time I, every time I see him, I can't stop thinking of the gambler in my head. But every time I see him, he sees the little bite. He's like, I gotta throw you out. I can't take. She's been bitten. It's like it's pre-existing condition. And there's this new, new zombie curing medicine called Zombrex. But the thing is, with Zombrex, you have to take a shot every 24 hours. And what made Dead Rising one fun is because you're a Frank West, you just went around saving people, bringing them back, and doing cases as you go. This one, same kind of deal. You go around save people, bring them back as you go. But this one has, this one forces. This game forces you to come back. Well, it's not really forcing, because you can choose not to go, but in a sense, to get the good ending, it's forcing you to go back to the safe room every 24 hours. But if you have, like, three Zombrex shots on you in the very beginning of the game, which there's a video on here by, I, uh, I think it's IGN or Rooster Teeth. I can't remember exactly who right now. They can show you all the Zombrex stashes are. You get, you get at least, like, five or six of them from the stashes and you can buy them from pawn shops but pawn shops want at least $25,000 for one shot of Zombrex kind of steep no but here's the best thing if you have internet connection and you're hooked up to your Xbox Live or your PlayStation Network you can play Terror is Reality the online mode win shit tons of money and you can import it into your save which means you can have maybe 3000 bucks. but after one night after one game of Terror is Reality you can easily get $50,000 I mean, the first time I played Terror is Reality, I dominated the whole show. And I got at least maybe $70,000 on my first try. So that kind of shows, hey, if you're low on cash, do Terror is Reality. You'll be glad you did if you need to buy some Zombrex from the pawn shop. I'm just saying. I got at least $300,000 in my, on, my, uh, on uh, my character because I just played Terror is Reality a lot because I like to do it. It's kind of fun. Um, but in this game, overall, I give it a 9, just because, just because it is Dead Rising, and Dead Rising can get frustrating with the psychopaths, so that's why it's got the 9. Other than that, I'd give it a 10, but I just can't, I can't be handing out 10s left and right here. It's like, I give it a 9.
but I say it's pretty worth it. Plus, you get to tame a tiger named Snowflake. You get to have a tiger as your companion. How sweet is that? But the point is, you gotta train it. And another way to train it is by throwing stakes at it right after you fight the psychopath trainer of his. You kill the trainer, run past the trainer, grab some stakes, and the thing is, you gotta time throwing the stake at the tiger be like this. You'd be like, too late. Fuck. That's the only problem. But other than that, I give the game a nine because it does amp the challenges and it does ma and it does make you want and it actually has you surviving with everyone clearing your name and protecting your daughter. So I give it that, and that would be I, you know what, that's my last PS3 review of the of the Thanksgiving stuffer. I'm gonna review a few DVDs, then I'm gonna go and review some old school PS2 games. And after the PS2, I may do some PS1s. I'm not quite sure yet. But the next, the next review on the Thanksgiving stuffer. I said I wouldn't do this in my in my last movie review of Apocalypse, but I might as well do it. First Resident Evil. Woohoo! As you can see, I'm so thrilled to do this movie. But let me tell you, if I need to, if I can't sleep, best sleep aid in the world, that and a back massage. But we're not going to go into that. But anyway, Dead Rising 2, 9 out of 10, just because some complexities, and plus it's just like Dead Rising 1, you just kill a bunch of zombies and do a bunch of cases to clear your name. But other than that, it's still very it's still very fun to play though, and the terror reality does add a nice touch. So it holds a very high nine. Almost a ten. Almost a ten. It's just like skin of your teeth to a ten. That's how good that's how good this one is compared to the first one. But this is Robbie Rue with Thanksgiving Stuffer. It's got a nine out of ten on the Sully score system. Up next, Resident Evil. Stay tuned.